Hi, it's Ash and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my growing community. This is going to be the perfect strengthening exercise for those glute muscles. Now, why would we want to strengthen our glute muscles at all for runners? Well, basically, every time we come through mid stance, so every time our foot lands on the floor from one step to the other, from one stride to the other, every time our foot hits the floor, the glutes have to work to absorb the shock of the impact stabilize the hips so we don't get hip drop and then generate power as they squeeze to propulse to create hip extension to propulse it to create propulsion to propulse us forward so that's why we want to strengthen our glutes so that's what we're going to do in this workout we're going to start on your back right now and what we're going to do is we're going to go through a series of exercises focusing on activating those glutes squeezing and strengthening them to create more strength stability generate more power and empower up your running so the first exercise we're onto your back feet as wide as the mat and i'll demonstrate it and then we're going to go for a minute what we're going to do is we're going to send the hips up tap the bum muscles so the left and right make sure the left and right bum muscles are working evenly and we're going to simply hold a hip bridge a glute bridge for a minute okay get ready so into that position, feet nice and wide, press your toes into the floor, three, two, one, and let's go. So squeeze the hips up. So try not to let the thighs, so the quad muscles dominate this exercise. It's really easy to let those quads dominate this exercise. Push the big toes into, into the floor, create a good, strong, stable base. Squeeze those glutes, so just keep tapping the bum muscles, make sure the, the rock hard, if they start to soften and squish, Tap them again as if to say, come on, activate, squeeze, and then send the hips up. As you start to get through this and as we start to fatigue, what will happen is the hips will start to lower a little bit. Squeeze them back up. We'll get a little bit of work into that lower back as well, so keep arching the lower back area. Lots of time. So we've got last 10 seconds coming up to so keep breathing. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed. Nearly there, well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower the hips back down to the floor. Massage into the glutes and lower back by going left and right with the knees. A little bit of an active recovery. Make sure you're breathing, soften your shoulders. So I'm going to show you the next one. As you just continue to relax and do that active movement, I'll show you and then we'll do it together. So you carry on doing that movement side to side. I'll show you this next exercise. We're going to go back up into that hip bridge. And then what we're going to do is we're going to march one knee up towards the chest and then switch the other knee up towards the chest. As we do that, what we're focusing on is not letting those hips drop down to the floor. So keep squeezing them up, even though we're squeezing, uh, bringing one foot up off the floor. So we don't let them soften down towards the floor. Okay, so we're going to go 45 seconds on that one. So get into that hip bridge position. Three, two, one, and let's go. So left knee marches up, keep the hips up nice and high. Right knee marches up and it alternates in left and right with that. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep breathing all the way through. Try and focus on not letting those hips drop as you bring that knee in towards the chest. Don't worry too much about how high the knee drives up. We're really focused on that one glute muscle. So here as I'm lifting this leg up, the other glute muscle that's standing still, pressing and squeezing the hips up. So that's what we're focusing on, getting that good activation of the glute muscles to create that good strength and stability and power as we run, which reduces your injury risk and also helps you generate more power. Good work. And last one. And time and release. Good work again. Left and right as an active recovery. Windscreen wipe of those knees. Loosen off. Nice and easy. We're going to go still into the glutes, but a little bit more into the hamstrings at the back of the thighs now. So again, as you just take that active recovery, Continue to move left and right, keep breathing. I will demonstrate and then we'll do it together. So what we're gonna do is we, we will straighten the legs a little bit more, digging the heels in, pulling the toes up. So we're gonna focus on that hamstring area, but you're still gonna get into the glutes, into the bum. Same thing, we're gonna go into a hip bridge and we're gonna hold it for 45 seconds. If at any point you need to, come down and have a rest, send it back up, okay? So feet as wide as the hips or just a little bit wider. Take the legs a little bit straighter, toes up, and we're gonna go for 45 seconds in three, two, one, and let's go. So send those hips up. Try and dig the left heel and the right heel evenly into the floor. So you're not just doing 
all the work on one side. So the right side for me is my dominant side. I don't want that side to do all of the work. I don't want it to dominate. I'm gonna keep pushing those heels into the floor. I can really start to feel that bend in my, my hamstrings. I'm gonna try and squeeze my bum a little bit more to help out hamstrings. So bend this one. If you need to have a pause and come back down, let's do that. Keep your breath flowing. Keep the shoulders relaxed. 10 seconds, keep going. Just think of all that strength and power that you're generating for your running. Three, two, one, and release. Well done. Ha! It's a burner. Okay, left and right with those knees. Loosen off. Nice and easy. Windscreen wiper. Again, a nice active recovery. Let your breathing slow down. Let some of that tension release from your body. Have a little smile at the intensity that we're putting through the body. It's good to challenge the body. We want it to be strong and resilient. We want our body to adapt to the work that we put through it. So then from here, what we're going to do is roll yourself over onto a side, whichever one, and then come up. And then from here, we're going to come onto your side. Which I'm going to go, so this is my left, but it actually might look like your right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest my right elbow into the floor, and then the leg goes nice and straight, and my elbow, my knee, uh, my elbow, hip, and knee are roughly in a straight line with each other. So set yourself up like that. Space between this right ear and right shoulder, so we're not sinking down into it. And then this top leg, what we're going to do, squeezing from that bum muscle, that glute medius muscle, which is a really important muscle, creates stability in the hips and the lower back when we're running. From here, what we're going to do is just near the hip, the hip bone, just to the side and back of that, we're going to squeeze that leg up. Again, don't worry about doing it yet, I'm just demonstrating. And we're going to make sure that bum muscle there is, is, is hard, is rock hard, that glute medius. Slowly come back down, squeeze back up. So we're going to go for 45 seconds on each side, just one set. So set yourself up in this position. I'm going to go in three, two, one, and let's go. Hands to the hips, squeeze the heel up, slowly back down. So don't rush the movement. Make sure we're getting good activation of that glute medius muscle as we continue to do that nice and smooth up, smooth down. So just near the hip bone, just behind it, and just slightly up and maybe about an inch, three centimeters, four centimeters, you'll feel that muscle. It should be that working, not the thighs. Don't let the thighs dominate. If you can't get that muscle to work, keep tapping it and send the signal to the brain to squeeze that muscle. We've got 15 seconds. Sometimes we have what's, set, what's known as sensory motor amnesia. I'll explain that in a moment. Five seconds, the bend is kicking in. <laughs> well done, keep breathing. Two, one, and release. Over to the other side. Okay, it's exactly the same thing. Create that space between the shoulder and the ear. A nice long straight leg. I'm gonna come back onto that sensory motor amnesia in a minute. Okay, so straight leg, tapping that bum muscle, that glute medius muscle, three, two, one, and let's go. So squeeze up as high as you can, squeeze back down. Try and keep the toes pointing in the direction that they're starting. So try not to open them out, because that's, again, it's just gonna be working thighs. Try to limit the amount of movement you get through the upper body. Just try and keep these ribs away from the mat. So sensory motor amnesia, as you continue to do this, squeeze up, slowly down, is where basically, the motor units in the brain have stopped sending signals or you can't really become aware of how to send the signal to a certain part of your, your body. Well done, we're nearly there. Keep going, we've got 10 seconds. So sensory motor amnesia, basically your body forgets or your brain forgets how to activate those muscles. Five seconds. So tapping them is a really good way to send that signal to that area of the body. And time, well done. Okay, that was a good little bear there. So sorry, I do like to talk, I do like to explain things. I think it's good to explain things because when you know why you're doing something, there's a purpose, there's a value. Oh, right, that's, so that's why we do that and, that. and that's what that means. I love that. I love knowing why. I love knowing what is the, why am I doing that? What, you know, why, what does that mean? I like information. Sometimes information, there's too much information and can scatter our brain, but sometimes there's some good information that we, we can use. So we're gonna come onto your hands and knees. Again, I'm gonna demonstrate, so don't worry about doing it just yet. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath our hips. And what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. 
Nice and strong, push away from the floor. We're going to bring the knee up on the right side, so right knee up to about hip height. Now I'm going to kick the heel up and squeeze the bum. Try not to open up the hip towards the sky. So I'm going to try and keep the hips down and just squeeze the heel up, bring it back down to about knee height or just slightly below. And I'm trying to limit the amount of upper body movement like this. I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be arching my back too much to get that, that heel up as well. So I want to try and engage the abs, squeeze the abs and just kick from the bum muscle. Okay, so we're going to do 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. So get ready. On the right side, three, two, one and let's go so kick that heel up squeeze the bum bring it back down don't rush so just continue to pulse with that squeeze up again push strongly away from the mat make sure we're getting that really good bum muscle activation so the glute muscle activation that's all we're focusing on if you feel like you're arching your back too much really squeeze your abs to stop that arching of the lower back we've got eight seconds keep breathing again this helps us generate power two one and release as we come through hip extension so as we start to push into the floor basically and as we start to push off the floor our bum muscles help generate all that power to help us propel forwards okay onto the left three two one and let's go push strongly away from the mat squeeze the abs kick the heel up make sure we don't open up that hip too much towards the sky so already i can feel that this muscle doesn't activate as well as my right that's okay, I'm just really focusing in. I'm trying to get that good activation, kick the heel up, trying not to cheat with any upper body movement, engage your abs, six seconds, keep squeezing that bum muscle. Two, one, and time. Whew, well done. Okay, so we're gonna come up to standing now, have a little bit of a wiggle. Again, we're gonna have a little bit of a rest. If you need a quick drink, get a quick drink if you've got one. Okay, and I'm going to bring this with me. So slowly come up to standing. I'm going to demonstrate what we're doing next again. So don't worry, you don't have to do it just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a squat position. And in the squat position, with roughly feet about hip width distance or just slightly wider, and we're into a squat position. The lower you go into your squat position, the harder this is going to be. So we've got from hips nice and high, stood up all the way down. We don't want to really want to be going any further than hips lower than the knees, so about knee height or just above. So you figure out the right amount of intensity. If you need to back off, come higher. If you want to go a little bit more challenging, go lower. So find the right amount for you. As we go into the squat, what we're going to do, staying low, we're going to try and step the left. So this is my right, but it looks like your left. So left foot steps out, step back in. Right foot steps out, and we're alternating. We're trying to stay low the whole time. So if you see my head, my head's hardly moving. So I'm not stepping back in and squatting back down and then doing it and doing this. Trying to stay really low and step, okay? So we're gonna go for 45 seconds in three, two, one, and let's go. So down we go, step back up, step back up. Again, try and stay nice and low. Keep your head nice and still. Keep breathing. Open up that knee and hip. Work into that hip. Again, put all of the weight down through that foot that's, that's trying to balance. So the stepping foot hardly has any weight in it. It's all the foot that stays in the center. Keep breathing. Nice and strong through the abs. So squeeze the tummy. Last 10 seconds, well done. Stay low if you can, if it's burning. Come up a little bit, we're nearly there. Three, two, one, and time. Whew. Well done, have a little bit of a pulse through that. So just have a little bit of a shake, have a little bit of a wiggle. Let your breathing recover. If you can, in and out through the nose, if you really need to, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then get back to nasal breathing when you can. It is challenging, I know. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate where we're going and then we'll do it together. So what we're gonna do here is we'll come towards the top of your mat. A Little bit of balance in this one as well. Hip flexor strength as well. I'm gonna try and stay up nice and tall, engaging the abs. We're gonna step back. We're doing the same side for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna start with my right foot stepping back. I'm gonna do this side for 30 seconds. So this is the exercise, stepping the right foot back into a split squat lunge position or reverse lunge position. Knees almost touching the floor, I'm up nice and tall. From here, I'm gonna drive that knee 
up nice and tall and balanced if I can. From here, if you can, the harder version is going straight back down into the reverse lunge, driving the knee. If you need to touch the foot down and start the movement again, then go to reverse lunge, drive the knee, tap the foot. Let's do that. So again, wherever you're at with this, make it your own. Don't judge your body against my body. We're gonna go for 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. So get ready. We're gonna go right foot steps back and then drives the knee in three, two, one, and let's go. So step back, drive the knee. Nice and slow. So you're gonna feel that left glute, left thigh work, and although we're stepping with the right, I want you to focus on keeping the weight and the force into that left glute, into the left thigh. Push down with the left foot and the left big turn. 10 seconds. Well done. Try and keep the movement smooth and controlled. Five seconds, nearly there. Keep breathing. Two, one. Let's get the last one. And time. Well done. Have a little bit of a shake. Okay, get ready. We're gonna go to the left foot step. So again, really important that the right foot is doing the work. Right glute, right thigh. Three, two, one. And let's go. Left foot steps. Drive with that right big toe into the floor. Right glute, so right bum muscle, make sure it's working. Tap it if you need to. Driving that left knee up as we come through that reverse lunge position. Stay up nice and tall, engage the abs. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep breathing. 10 seconds, well done. Really push that big toe into the floor on that right foot. Three, two, one, and time. Have a little bit of a shake out again, well done. Last one, last exercise of this workout and then we're done, well done. Okay, so I'm gonna show you again, nice and simple, in the middle of your mat, what we're gonna do is a lateral lunge. As we do that, make sure we're tapping the bum muscle. So my right leg, but it looks like your left. From the center, I'm gonna step that left leg out, keep the one in the middle nice and straight, bending and just making sure Tapping that glute muscle, make sure the quads are active as well, which, which, as well, which they will be. From here, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna push the foot into the floor, come back to the center. Go over to the other side, I'm gonna tap the bum, make sure I'm squeezing from the glute muscles. So I'm squeezing the hips, slightly forward, thrust in to make sure that bum muscle is activating. We're gonna go for a minute, and then we are done. Okay, three, two, one, and let's go. So we're stepping left, Drive back to the center, step right. Okay, the lower you go into that lunge as you alternate left and right, carry on doing this, the more strength work we're gonna get. Try not to go too fast, to try not to rush it. Focus on good quality movements. As you go low, pause, press. So control, squeeze. Again, nice and low, control, squeeze. Well done, we're almost halfway. We've got a little stretch to finish to loosen off those glutes. But again, trying to get those hips nice and low. Little pause, drive from the glutes as well as the quads. So drive from the bum as well as the thighs. So 15 seconds and we're done with this workout. Well done. Keep breathing, keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep smiling, eight seconds. Powering up your running. Nearly there. Let's go last one on each side. And time. Well done, have a little bit of a shake. We are gonna finish with a nice stretch for the glutes. A quick little massage movement to ease off, help the body recover, help those glutes recover. So we're gonna come onto your mat, have a little bit of a wiggle, relax your shoulders, take your hands backwards, place your left ankle area onto your right thigh and then bring the right foot up towards the right hip until, the, until you can feel a good stretching the left hip glute area, so left bum muscle. Relax the shoulders, and then just go left and right with that. So just, just small to start, so go nice and easy, left and right movements, keep breathing, slowing your breathing down, then maybe if it feels okay, you could expand the movement, maybe the foot comes all the way to the floor at the right side, the knee all the way to the floor at the left, massaging all the way through those glutes, you can feel the bum muscles squishing and massaging into the mat, just feels good. Slowing your breathing down now, so in and out through the nose if you can, let your heart rate recover. And how was that for you? How was that workout? Is that an area that you feel like you could get a lot of benefit from? Do you feel like there's a lot of gains to be made in that area? 
Okay, and then we're just going to come back to the centre, straighten the legs. Again, have a little bit of a wiggle and a bounce. Placing the right ankle area onto the left thigh, bring the left foot up towards the hip. Again, start small with the movement and massage, go left and right. So just, so one of my clients recently, Jody, he took, he took seven minutes off his marathon time. He's now under a three hour 20 marathon. I think he's got down to a three, 19, three hour 19 minute marathon. And all we've done is just worked on strengthening his glutes, strengthening his balance as well, strengthening his glutes, strengthening his balance to create more power, more stability. And he's managed to take off seven minutes off his marathon time, which is the biggest chunk of time that he's taken off in 15, 20 years of running. So again, it just shows that if you put that time and effort, activate the right muscles, create the right strength, create the right physical body to generate that power, you will, you will gain improvements, you will, get, you will reach those PBs that you, want to, that you want to achieve. So we're gonna straighten the legs out nice and long, give them a little bounce. And if you enjoyed that practice, as we just continue to bounce and massage, do give this a thumbs up. It takes you two seconds. Leave a comment. If you're not sure what to comment, let me know how it felt, or just put thanks for the video. Just carry on just bouncing left and right with this, just loosening the shoulders. Do share this with a runner that could generate more power from their running, or would like to generate more power from their running, and subscribe to the channel if you're not. And you might think that, ah, oh, whatever. I'll do it tomorrow, or I'll do it next time, but please, it does really help. It helps YouTube see that people are engaging with my content, they're enjoying it, and it can put it out to more runners. More runners will join this community, and then I'll just carry on continuing to create more free content, which, because I can see that people are getting benefit from this. So I really do great, greatly appreciate all of your support. Well done for putting that time into your strength, because a lot of runners neglect it, but like I say, there's huge gains to be made. So well done. Thank you for practicing along with me and I shall see you in the next video.